In this video, I'll be doing an in-depth comparison between Dolby Vision and HD or 10, based on over 100 movies. The playback is done on an LG C2 OLED TV, which peaks at 810 nits, using a Ugu's M6B media player with Corelic. To ensure a meaningful and consistent visual comparison, I'm capturing everything with a DSL or camera, with ISO, exposure, and all relevant settings locked down. While it's important to note that a camera can't fully reproduce the dynamic range of a high-end HD or display, the perceptible differences between Dolby Vision and HD or 10 can still be meaningfully demonstrated. First, let me give a brief explanation of how Dolby Vision works. At its core, Dolby Vision includes metadata that helps optimize HD or playback on a scene-by-scene -scene basis. For level 1 metadata, three key values are generated for each shot, minimum, maximum, and average brightness. These values represent the luminance characteristics of the content and are used to guide tone mapping on compatible displays. Once the HD or master is completed, these values are calculated automatically by the Dolby Vision algorithm. The colorist can then preview the tone mapping shot by shot across different target brightness levels, typically 100 nits, but also 600 and 1000 nits, and make any necessary adjustments to preserve the artistic intent of the HD or master. These trim control modifications are recorded as level 2 or 8 metadata. As you can see in this example, the sun and cloud details peak at around 1,800 nits, so any TV that can't reach, that brightness will require either tone mapping or hard clipping. Dolby Vision's default level 1 tone mapping compresses the brightness to match the TV's target capability and restores most of the highlight detail. However, this process can sometimes cause other parts of the image to get crushed or lose subtle shadow detail. This is where the colorist can step in using the Dolby Vision trim controls to manually restore any details lost during tone mapping based on the original HD or master. In most cases, trims are only created at the 100 nit rec.709 reference level, but Dolby Vision uses that data to extrapolate and adapt the metadata for any display brightness target. This helps maintain the artistic intent across a wide range of devices. As shown in this example, the trim adjustments bring back the previously crushed details, while keeping the sun and sky highlights details within the 800 nit capability of my TV. Recently, I added a loop mode to the Dolby Scripts Encoder workflow. When this mode is enabled, the script can loop any frame in Dolby Vision, an HD or 10 into a 30 second video loop. This makes it very easy to directly compare the exact same frame between Dolby Vision and HD or 10. What follows are comparisons made using this new Dolby Scripts feature. You can find a link to download all the looped files, both in Dolby Vision and HD or 10, in the pinned comment below. First, I will show you the HD or image brightness using a heat map, where colors represent the pixel luminance. After that, I will alternate between the HD or 10 and Dolby Vision captures recorded with a DSL or camera, you will notice that Dolby Vision can be very useful when the content's HD or grade exceeds my TV's 800 nit target. Otherwise, the difference compared to HD or 10 is marginal, and sometimes, Dolby Vision can even look worse due to several known bugs in the CMV 2.9 algorithm. Thankfully, most movies today are mastered using CMV 4.0, which has fixed almost all the known issues.